Oh, <laughs> yes. A few minutes later. No way. Cat guys. A little longer than a few minutes later. Dude, this is gross. <laughs> I got this next kind of evil, to be honest. I feel sort of bad. Any good mini set cards for mage that support light show? Reverberations? I guess star powers, decent board clear, but I wouldn't say it's great. Fiddlefire Imp sucks. Remix Dispenso Bot sucks. Reverberations into audio splitters, I guess, is kind of decent. I mean, whatever, man. I don't know. It sounds fun, I guess. Play like a... Uh, is Lay Flame Plot? Yeah, cast it again. Yeah, that's Light Show support. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do Light Show. I haven't really played hardly any Light Show ever in, in anywhere at all. So uh, we can really stack festival cards to make sure we're getting a lot of good Light Show buckets. We haven't done this since Audio Splitter got cheaper. We haven't done this since Maxitude got better. So this, this is actually going to give us a new look at this that we haven't really seen before, to be honest. Maybe we'll add Star Power since it's a new card. Anything good in Rogue that supports this in the mini set too? Deafen? I like Silences and Duels, actually. That's that's pretty interesting. Plagiarizer, I don't think so. Record Scratcher, kind of cool. Huff Crowd, no. Blingtron. Blingtron is actually kind of insane with Light Show. Maybe we do run a Blingtron. We want a lot of density of these cards anyway. I need Romath as well. So let's get a Romath in there. And then that means we can run Lich King cards that are good fits too. And then row math. I mean, do we want it to be only light shows? I mean, we're going to get some other stuff anyway, so it's fine. Prismatic Elemental is pretty cool with row math, I guess. Vast Wisdom, maybe. More row math support. I don't think Terry Reality is still any good, unfortunately. And then what if we go Legacy Set to not disrupt any here? Frostbolt, Arcane Intellect. We need, like, Arcane Intellect. Do we have enough card generation? Probably enough Discover. We don't need that. Frost Nobis are good cards to run. Could just stall out boards while we try to kill the opponent. Blizzard, same story. Rogue legendary spell bounce around. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, uh, I don't want to run bounce around, but I wouldn't mind running. Uh, I think breakdance might be cool for Romath actually to bounce Romath back to hands. Also, can we get a shadow step actually? Hold up. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay, shadow step too. Some Romath bounce could be fun or whatever, you know, some other card too. It doesn't have to be those, but that's actually pretty chill. Volume up is a good card. Um, do we need it though? Is the question. Maybe we do. I like it a lot, actually. I don't really need an arcane worm. I like this better. More copies, right? Yeah. Forgot that's a copy synergy card. Keyboard seems mad with our current spells. No, I don't think so. I think I think you're thinking it needs like eight powers, eight cost spells and stuff. I, I think two cost spells are actually pretty solid for this. If you think about it, if we play just three two cost spells, you know, it's that's six, six and stats on a two drop. Takes a little while, of course, to unfold, but we'll also have some threes and fours and stuff, too. Shadow of Demise? Oh, that is good. It's in Lich King, too. Yeah, no, we should run that. That's a good call. Maybe we'll drop this Deafen. I wanted to run as many uh, mini set cards as I could, but I don't know. Silences are good, but maybe maybe silences aren't as important in this deck because it's like we're not trying to hit people with minions, you know? Like, we don't have to worry about Grey Bows or anything. Can just kind of go over the top, maybe. Still not always true, but yeah, that, that's a good call, though. Shadow of Demise is perfect. I may not even make the dual, dual, DC Dual Force kind of wrap up video, or maybe I'll save it for a later week or something with that. Ultimately, to give you my really short thoughts on DC Dual Force, I think it's a solid game. Surprised me, actually, is better than I expected. If you're already playing Snap or Hearthstone, I don't know that it does enough to pull you away from those, but if you're looking for a new card game or you love DC Comics in particular, probably a pretty suitable game for you. You know, not for everybody, but I think, I think some people will find DC Dual Force a good game for them. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it on Twitter. I will say, always proceed with caution anytime a, a content creator joins a new game, especially joins a new game early and is like really effervescent in their praise. You know, like I gave you, I think, pretty measured praise, realistic praise right there. Like, you know, solid, good. Anytime a content creator goes and says, this game is amazing. It's the best game I've ever played. I love this game. It's brilliant. It's hard sometimes for content creators to separate their potential for like growth and revenue and you know uh fame in a new game like oh this game could be my game i could be famous this could i could be the number one content creator in this game so there's like this subconscious bias to really hype up new games where people see some opportunity in it and it's not even like intentional or malicious or anything right it just kind of happens so you just have to be careful you know just take a measured response anytime you see somebody like really hyping up a game 
Or alternatively, anytime you see somebody really crapping on a game, sometimes it's the other way around. Like if you're really invested in Marvel Snap and you're doing well, you're gonna crap on the new game so that nobody will leave for the new game. Basically, anytime somebody has an extreme opinion, be careful with it, right? You, usually most things don't warrant in, in this space, super extreme opinions. So you have to be mindful of those and be careful with them. As content creator, and again, I'm not saying it's like malicious always either. Sometimes it's it's probably very unintentional. Okay, we'll play Splitter on two, I guess. What was the first card game you played that got you hooked? Uh, this one. Well, no, that's not true, actually. Uh, the first PvP card game I played is Hearthstone that got me hooked. But actually, technically, uh, volume up kind of hurts me a little bit here. Bad timing to draw that. We really don't want that. We want mostly light shows. Technically, it was the um, triple triad in Final Fantasy VIII. I played as a child. I loved Triple Triad. That song lives in my heart. Oh, that would've been a good draw too if this didn't die. Dang it. I freaking love, dude. Can I catch a break right now? Can we not hit a minion? Uh, we just go blink trying here in its face. Like, nah, it's, it's too risky, right? Like, did we ever just uh, copy this? I lose the light show. Pretty good minion though to copy, right? We don't care about the one damage part of it. Do I need this light show to win? It's not even good against this though. I don't know. I think this is fine. <sighs> hey, McSwifty dude, what's up? How's the child? She's doing great. She's doing great. Gwent, I enjoyed Gwent as well in Witcher 3. Yeah, but that was after Hearthstone, I think for me. Certainly, right? I don't know when that game came out, but I'm pretty sure. Hey, Cashmere Quill dude, thanks to the Prime sub. Howling Blast face, bro. No chill. Well, some chill. It's a frost spell, but <laughs> a small amount of chill. Uh, okay. Reverberations again is a little less interesting now. Blinktron, I could just hit for a ton. Do we think the opponent kills me if I Blinktron face? Do I have any lethal setups if I Blinktron face too, though? Not really, no. We cut the, uh, the one card that does damage. Um, jeez, dude. It's so crazy. I guess a light show here is the way to go. Do we spell damage it or not? Do we just care more about killing the ghoul right now? I mean, what the heck else am I using this coin for? So just one hit to face here would be nice. Uh, I guess we hit this like this, right? Because the light show deals more to face than this does. So it gives me extra damage to face technically. Okay, so they're at eight. I have the light show in hand. It's really big. Um, so yeah, this this should often set up a win. I think that's fine, right? Uh, oh yeah, enemy minions we don't care about. Cool. Sweet. Good stuff, okay. Thankfully the death rattle dying after the spell resolves helps us there. Uh. But yeah, Hearthstone is my first, like, you know, PV. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, that's actually so insanely perfect for us. Holy crap, dude. That's so good. Uh, unlike these buckets, what in God's name? What in God's name? Oh, okay, dude. Instrument text at least the cycle. That's fine. We've got it. Dude, I, I, I actually think there's space to make a triple triad, uh, like PVP game, like th that style, borrow those game mechanics a little bit, you know? Surprised nobody's tried that. I mean, I, actually they have. I found a, I found one game on, on uh, the App Store one time that did, but it wasn't popular or anything. I think you can actually get triple triad too. I remember having like a Final Fantasy app that had triple triad in it, but you know what I mean? Like a, a more bespoke new version of triple triad basically is what I'm thinking about here. Okay, uh, yeah. Anyone who hasn't seen Triple Triad or doesn't know what that is, this picture is not gonna do the job, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like much, but I'll tell you that song just lives in my brain. It's in the Final Fantasy MMO and you can play it PvP. Yeah, okay, I didn't know about that, but but again, like, you know what I mean? Like, and with new, I don't want the actual, I don't want Triple Triad. I want like an evolved version, somebody taking that grid and actually expanding the grid. I actually thought it'd be really cool to do that with, um, like, you know, imagine you had like a, you know, eight by eight grid instead of a three by three grid and you had squares that were blocked off with like locations like Marvel Snap that said like cards played blah, blah, blah in this space, blah, 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 you know, 
Like I want to, I want to see like an evolved version of Triple Triad. Does that make sense? I, maybe the one in the in the MMO is. I actually don't know. I haven't played it, obviously. So it just it just feels like there's design space there to explore that I haven't really seen. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Gluttonous ooze. Well, that surprises me, honestly. Maybe Spirit Lash. Deathborn is really cool at three damage, but does it come along too late? Maybe not. I don't think so. We have coin. I think it might be okay. Oh, and it's five. Yeah, of course. Forgot. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm. I'm. Oh no, never mind. No, 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 no. I'm not stupid. I was thinking that was infinitize the maxitude for a second, and I didn't finale it. But I'm. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. It was prismatic elemental. <clears throat> Did that just move? Wow. Freeze me, dude. Do we ever just coin the deathborn now? Like we do think they're gonna get more cards, but outfitter's not crazy here either. I don't know, man. I think I coin the deathborn now and then play a blingtron and just start hitting face. I think this is okay. I think we get ahead and start chunking. The two damage pings and attacks both could create some cool opportunities here. Double Blinktron action. Yeah, that, that I bet it, I, I bet it was hard run. Yeah, because why else would you have Unguro? I don't think most people would pick an Unguro bucket off the fly, right? Uh, you would play a standalone triple triad though. Yeah, me too, man. I, 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 dude, sometimes I want to design a card game. I, I don't know. That's very expensive and. None. It's not like not a good business decision sort of thing, you know, but but sometimes I think about it like man I should design a card game That clergy is so cheap. Just playing this legendary for tempo here. Um Yeah, we can go star power for now first, right? Like these aren't bad into this board, but let's just stay ahead on board really easily here and uh You know do our thing Still hitting for six still have a good blinktron set up. So Rewind into star power and what else did we have? Oh, yeah, the the actually rewind into a, a Six, uh, you know thingy death death born would be pretty cool. I enjoyed playing uh, Triple try ff14 all the new cards and some extra rules to balance things so you can't just have all five stars Yeah, that's how I'm I kind of want to have to like do you, how, how far into the game do you have to get to do that? I think that'd be fun <laughs> Like I'd like to try that but I obviously don't want to commit to like grinding an MMO for it Level 20. How long does- I don't know what that take. I don't know how long that takes. Doesn't sound like much, but I don't know. Uh, so Blingtron here, how much damage are we looking at for a good old Blingtron? Uh, 9 plus 2. Do we trade in a little bit in that case? You've been in tighter scrapes, I mean, I don't think I'm dead, right? They seem to be really minion based, so I think this will be okay. Doesn't really set up lethal, but it, it could make their life really awkward, right? And Blinktron's a 5-5. Five five. It's not like he's nothing. It's not like I'm underdeveloping necessarily too much. And these these two twos are a real pain. Well, you have this weapon equipped, so. Might accidentally take another nine. <coughs> Unlikely to take exactly nine, of course, but you never know. We should be able to deal another two next turn, probably. Oh, I love that they're hero powering already. That's a good sign. It means their hand doesn't really have good answers. <coughs> <laughs> what was the new card in this deck? Oh, yeah, Reverberations. Okay. Genshin, I heard, also has a card game. Yeah, I, I never played that either, though. I, I, whatever For whatever reason, I don't like that they're, like, nested inside other games they have to play. You know, I kind of just want to be able to load it up and play it, but who? who it's fine. <laughs> it's being picky. Time runs low. Anyway, if somebody out there wants to make a standalone triple triad card game, uh, hit me up. I'll, do, I'll, I'll play it for you free of charge. Yeah, it looks like they're, I mean, that's that's good life gain, honestly. That's not, I'll freeze in the blink try, okay. Saving five, yeah. Getting the body down first helps too. Oh, that's a big hit, all right. So what do we have? Three and two here is five and they're at nine. Any lethal setups? Volume up into light show potentially, I guess. Oh, also outfit Taylor, can we do this twice? Yeah, probably go to six, seven, nine. Yeah. The way you look. Cool. Kind of a weird little bonus synergy I was not expecting, but we take it. Look. Cool. Oh, I got an achievement for winning with the with the thing too. I think maybe. Good win. Good win. Uh. Henchman is free, which we like. 
Surly Mob is pretty good off Romath, to be honest, but I don't I don't love putting it in the deck necessarily. I want to, because I want to find light shows as as often as possible and as quickly as possible. This this sometimes slows that process down. I I think we like Henchman better for that reason. Just an extra card in hand doesn't doesn't disrupt the deck at all. It is because you know like how often are we actually getting to Romath? Not that often, as you've seen so far. You know, Romath is like a backup land. He's not the goal. So getting a card that's only good with Romath that makes the deck worse the rest of the time, I don't think is a is a good endeavor. Because we should we should scale up late game enough anyway, right? Hopefully. I know that's totally true. Uh I'm I'm gonna take henchman. I know a lot of you want early mob. I, I get it. It's a reasonable, reasonable request. Dude, Shadow of Demise again. Oh, audio splitter again is awesome. Air guitarist is honestly okay. We have Blinktron weapons and cosmic. Fizzle's cool, but again, a little greedy. Reese is really bad. I think it's here. Splitters are nice for us. I don't hate Shadow of Demise either, but I don't want the other two. Let's keep a light show, of course, but I think we can do better otherwise. Uh, instrument tax, that's fine, honestly, yeah. I need mana. Hero power light show is so nuts, dude. We're gonna be dealing five per hit. So <laughs> insane. It's really crazy. Really nuts. Hey, Kobe Wan, dude. Thanks for the 14 months. How's the kiddo? Uh, it's great, dude. She's awesome. I miss her right now. I wish I was hanging out with her, to be honest. Mm, this hits star power. I actually think I like getting the, uh, the cosmic keyboard down first. This is a lot of potential life. So we want to either win this game really quickly. <sighs> Maybe we could try to win the game really quickly with audio splitter, but I, uh, I don't really think it's going to be likely. You expect this to die and then star power gets copied. Like maybe running this was a liability. I think we had to have volume up too, but it's happened twice and it's in hand early now, which sucks. I don't know. Do I need the board off cosmic keyboard or not is the question. I, I don't know. I don't know. Cause it'd be really cool if I could play this post star power and then farm the light shows. I think that would be, wow, what a draw actually. I think that would be the ultimate goal, right? Like if we could manage to swing that, because these could just win so hard if light shows are hit. And we get multiple light shows. Like three light shows plus a hero power could melt basically even a, a, an Amara board sort of thing. <sighs> Another freaking, uh, <laughs> like it's okay. Shadow of Demise is awesome. Another star power, <laughs> no! Stop it. Stop it. Dang it. Now, maybe with Shadow of Demise times two, we don't even need to do anything else. I think maybe we just go next turn for Light Show. Um, and then double Light Show the turn after maybe, or maybe we have to wait a little bit. <sighs> I actually don't know. Double Light Show. So this is, uh, we've cast one light show so the next one's gonna be three which is nine damage one of that's gonna be four which is 12 damage so what did i say nine and 12 21 damage opponent has 23 plus five plus actually a little more than that um what if i rewind into a light show now and then have light shows again next turn with spell damage Yeah, this looks good, right? So this is now four light shows for 20 damage plus 15 is 35 damage, I think. Cool. Dude, this is gross. <laughs> I feel like I, this deck's kind of evil, to be honest. I feel sort of bad. Uh, I don't know, man. That was actually gross. Honestly, that is not... Uh, no way! Cat guys? Oh my god. I mean, it's gotta be right. Orb is kind of interesting, because you do have some discover with, like, Infinitize and... Uh, and Rewind, but I, I think Cat guys is the actual grab. It's just so insane. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. It didn't matter there, actually. It, well, yeah, uh, of course, Hero Power in the second one is better. Yeah, it didn't matter there because it was like giga lethal, but yeah, good to note for later, actually. Pretty important to remember that. Uh, it does matter sometimes on board, though. Like, the turn before that, you know, for instance, there was like a five health target. This time there wasn't because I could trade in two units first. So that's another thing to keep in mind is like, 
if there's minions on board it might be better off to use your breakpoints properly anyway we'll figure it out but yeah good, good thought marvel snap tomorrow uh maybe but marvel snap today is the first plan marvel snap today silver moon arcanist dude <laughs> are you kidding me i really don't need it necessarily um I don't actually hate Fana Knives, dude. Fana Knives is pretty insane with our hero power. I don't love these two, though. But Fana Knives, I love that it cycles, and I love that it's cheap. Arcanist is gross, but, like, do we really need it? Is is that three mana overhead going to be worth it in many turns, or are we better off? <clears throat> like, Vizier also, it's like, eh, it's not great, and Brittle Skin's not good. Kind of like these cheap cards better, man. I am a little bit worried about running out of resources, but with volume ups and, like... I don't know, man. We got ways to copy stuff, discover stuff. I don't think resources are going to be a problem. I actually think it's this. Do we have any core cards right now, though? Is this going to add core as one of my base sets? I feel like we don't have core cards. I think we only grabbed legacy cards, right? So maybe we don't take this to protect our expansion density. Yeah, we currently don't have any core cards. This is a legacy card, which doesn't count. So no, maybe we don't take that. Maybe we have to take here. Yeah, this will give me core every time. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because I'll still have Festival and Witch King, since we only have two sets. But, yeah, again, Shadow Steps Legacy, so it doesn't count. I think we might take this. I'm not as in love with the Breakdances and Shadow Steps as I wanted to be, but I think they're okay still. Especially if we go into a late game with Romath later. Star Power is also totally fine still. I mean, it does sometimes ruin the um, audio splitters, but as we've seen, we certainly have other ways to get copies of Light Shows, no problem. I think, I think I'm going to take this. Just to preserve the uh, expansion pools. That might matter later to give us some flexibility on expansion picks and stuff. Uh, okay. I don't think we keep reverberations. The odds of hitting a good audio splitter are just too slim. Shadow of Demise does seem completely busted, though, because as soon as you hit um, a single light show, this becomes, like, the best card available. Rewind, not good on turn one. Band of Bees and Sticky Fingers. Whoa. It's kind of wild. What is it? Okay. I mean, they got, uh, well, those aren't played though. I don't know. I don't know what this deck's about. Dude. It's crazy looking. Give me a light show right now on turn two. That would be perfect. Light show on two, rewind, or actually we just go shadow probably. Um, boy, what did they take? They, I, I don't, I don't want deep breath or deck of lunacy. So we're going to take frozen touch. And if they took that, yippee, awesome. Yes, that's the one. Yippity doo We're happy. I go face this or do I clear a minion or neither? I and mean, we're just not likely to infuse this very often. Man, hitting face for six though sure seems awfully enticing. <laughs> there is some logic to killing this because of like the loyal henchmen and stuff, but not really, right? Like I don't really care because we don't really invest our minions that much. I think we're just going to the dome, man. I can actually grab another six and another six. That's 12 more damage. The opponent would almost be dead already. <sighs> Um, and actually lay flame paw is even another six. Well, maybe only another four actually. So like, this is kind of close to lethal-esque, I guess. Oh my God. Prismatic elemental this time. They just play a lot of small discover cards, huh? Maybe they missed uh, staking a claim or something. Hey, gutter boy with 15 bonds. Great to see some duels. Congrats to you and Mrs. Kilbin on the birth of Regina. Hope you're enjoying this special time. I am dude, it's so much fun. I. I don't know. I think we're in a good spot, like, schedule-wise. We're not, neither one, like, too crazy tired or anything like that, you know? So I think for us, it's just been a lot of fun and really enjoyable, and, you know, I think we're lucky to savor it. Yeah, this is fine, right? Maybe get a board clear to reset this a little bit. Or not. Uh, I mean, okay, I don't want to play these because they go in the pool of the rewind. I got to be careful. Like, like I, Alter Fire, I mean, yeah, I could. <laughs> it's just a crapshoot whether it's good or not, but... We don't want to play them unless there's a reason to for the rewind pool. We may have to wait a little bit and see. Um, okay, so hopefully this thing kills a minion, but honestly, if it doesn't, it's still just one threes. Like, who cares? I was really hoping for, like, a, you know, a hellfire or a, a fire sale or something that dealt with these. But, uh, okay. Have you accidentally called her Regina off stream? Uh, no, but I've accidentally almost called her her real name multiple times on stream. I haven't internalized that yet. Like Regis is so uh, trivial for me. It's always been Regis on stream. You know, I'd say Re I, I never say my real name in real life or anything, but I'm saying her real name in real life all the time. So I have not created a great separation yet. I, I think I've done okay, but eh, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I said her real name on stream or anything. It's not that big a deal, but just try, try my best. Star power. Yeah, sure, man. Honestly, 
we'll take it um it does lose me this frozen touch synergy if that's something i want to go for but we really want light shows first and foremost i mean this is so early like what is the hurry You've been in tighter scrapes, Reno. Uh, but then again what else am i supposed to do <laughs> like there's no hurry but also there's no reason to wait <laughs> I don't know. If I can get a Hitchman down or a Blinktron down, that's better, of course. Um, okay, still just looking for that light show, man. Give me a light show. Runedorp face is fine. This definitely feels like a Discover Mage that whiffed, right? They were looking for Staking and Claim, I think. You can just rewind twice to get two Frozen Touches. I did say that earlier. You're right. <laughs> but it wasn't a lethal setup, so we just decided not to. Oh, you mean later. Oh, oh, I see what you mean, actually. I see what you mean. You mean now. Uh, maybe. We're going to run out of... Uh, Cool, maybe, but yes, you, you're probably right, actually. Does this copy... Okay, does anyone know how this works? Does it copy a Shadow of Demise, or does it copy a new star power? Audio I guess we're gonna find out real quick. I'm just very curious how this works. D does, the, does the copy become a Shadow of Demise? Yeah, and is, yeah, is it actually a zero cost card is another question. I don't think so. Oh, we're not gonna find out. No, dude, no! Wait, no, we might find out! Oh, actually insane! Hold up, we might find out, we might find out. We're gonna find out, that's so sick. What a whiff, dude. Uh, it's, it's a shadow of demise! That's honestly insane. That's honestly insane, okay. Um, we don't have any like lethals here, do we? With, uh, with the frozen touches again, right? I don't think so, but I think we do play a Blinktron and set it up for next turn. So this is three frozen touches. Eat, well, they're dealing 12 and I think eight. I, I think that we should be lethal with a Blinktron for sure. As long as we're not dead. We might need to not be frozen, but I think we'll be okay as long as they have their weapon. Uh, that should also be fine. Yeah, I think, I think this is just lethal, right? Oh! I don't think we need that, but pretty cool. Oh, actually, I don't have the hero power, but I, I don't need it, right? It doesn't matter. Cool. Okay. I, <laughs> I mean, don't be straight, you guys. I didn't really count that. It was exact lethal. Maybe I should have been a little more careful. I honestly did not count that, but I trust. I trust. Um, do we like staff? We do have an instrument tech, but it has a 50-50 chance to hit staff. Bag of stuffing is cheap and obviously very good with Cadgars. And it's, you know, it's only three mana, and then most of the cards we get will be cheaper too. Staff also good with Cadgars, though, of course. Everything's really cheap. A little bit easier to dump. You can sometimes get complete garbage off the staff. Hand size is a, a bit of a concern for us sometimes because of uh, volume up. So bag gives us like control over hand size. Like we could play it when we need it and staff is sometimes hard to control. Staff also would get overwritten by Blingtron. I think I'm leaning towards bag. Yeah, true. Staff ruins rewind sometimes. Yeah. I think staff has too many counter synergies here. I think I like bag because I can control it more. Bag may feel wasted sometimes, to be honest. Like, it may feel dead to us, but I think it'll be okay. <sighs> Rewinds are really good, but Rhythm Dancer Risa is just... I mean, this card is maybe the worst card ever made. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> There's some cards that are actively bad. This is just passively bad, but... Man, is it bad. <laughs> it's getting buffed, so I'm curious how they buff it. Do they make it cheaper? Do they... Like, what do they do? I mean, honestly, I think it could be, like, three mana, and it would still be just okay. I don't actually think it'd be that insane at three mana. I think it would be fine. It'd be it'd be solid. Be be playable, I think. Um Dan B3 do thinks the 15 months. Alright, rewind and infinitize are good. We'll we'll do it. Infinitize with, with scrying orb in particular, right? It's just really cheap and easy to weave in, hopefully, and get a lot of resources. Yeah, I agree. It also doesn't feel legendary, yeah. It's weird. We haven't really seen that many of the like totally awful legendaries lately. I think they've done a on average, much better job over the last couple of years of making sure legendaries don't totally suck. Now, unfortunately, this set, a lot of the legendary spells have not lived up to expectations. So this is probably not the best time to be to be singing the praises of the, the legendary power level on average. But uh, I think as a trend anyway, that has been more true lately. Like even, even the ones that aren't good, like they seem kind of sometimes interesting or clever or, you know, could do fun things whereas in the past we had tons of legendaries that were just 
completely useless. Total garbage. Just absolutely awful. There are still some of those this time, to be fair. Um, volume up for three. We do like a little better. We have so much good card draw and generation now, though. I think we can get greedier. I think really just mulliganing for light shows in particular is A+. plus. Cosmic Keyboard's good. Bag is like a super volume up, kind of. The extra copy sometimes of light show can be nice, but also just having a million cards can be nice. Hagatha's Embrace and Floor is Lava. Okay, hyper aggressive. This might be a little harder for us to keep up. They might be able to race me out here. Who knows? We don't exactly have a lot of like true board clear. I mean, light shows and stuff can be, obviously. We can generate some, but... <sighs> be kind of nice to play the break dance just to empty the hand for it because i'm gonna lose a bag of stuffing card potentially if dudes dudes with floor is lava by the way is kind of a interesting <laughs> like i mean yes they can get hand buffed i guess but kind of interesting right i uh if they don't get the hagatha's hand buff they're just gonna die <laughs> like you still get the one on board so maybe it's okay Just sit on these till they get buffed, I guess, right? That's chill. That's a thing. Um, kind of want to just play more stuff here. Specifically so I can do this and dump an extra card. This is kind of weird, though. Maybe I don't need to do that yet, right? Maybe we can do that next turn. Then I can play both of those next turn. This won't activate or anything. I'm not worried about that. Uh... I mean, I can still do both of those next turn, but I just lose a 1-1 one, one on board that can go face for one. No, I'll do it now. Such a weird card to bounce, right? But, uh, I don't think we do a second one. But it's actually pretty good on the keyboard too, right? It's not, it's not like I'm getting no value off the, off the, uh, break dance. I might consider doing it even for no value, honestly, just from a hand size consideration, but particularly since you're getting some value out of it, extra minions on board for later might make it more worth it i mean i don't know i don't have to play this stuffing early if i find better cards it's just i'm thinking about if i don't find a good play this turn i'm probably gonna want a stuffing you know if we find a fiddle fire imp or of course a light show we'll, we'll do that instead but if not i think guitarist into stuffing is a completely reasonable line then we get a three three again get a lot of cosmic keyboard procs this has been like weirdly good <laughs> so far i think okay Trade in for me for no reason. Yes, easy. I'm gonna trade into this anyway, so that's great. Another break dance, dude. Um, I could go for even more break dances to kill that five two and keep my three two alive, but I, uh, uh, well, I could also just go for the three two face as well. And just get a free three two. Do I save these break dances for like more valuable things though? Blinktron's not really a more valuable thing right now, is what's weird. Um. I, I think that's too valuable, right? Let's just let's just do this. Let's let's not be greedy here. Let's not be weird. Let's play this a little more straight up. Star powers seem like they're gonna be really valuable. Fast wisdom, okay. Could actually break dance this and go face too though. Maybe we like that better. Is three face damage worth it? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know if it is. Probably not to be honest, but so we burn a card, which hopefully is not the light show. That would be the only like super sad burn. <sighs> Pretty much every other burn would be okay. Rewind right now is just all break dances. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was worth three damage or not. It's arguable. We do value damage a ton since that's our win condition, but is it worth a resource for three? Audio splitter reverb right now hits star power. Oh, dude, an Oyotron's not exactly your best bet, is it? That's kind of sad. Hey, the Silver Recruit's alive! Go recruit! Oh, yeah, they also... Oh, yeah, 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 this is only one card now. This used to be two cards, right? So that, that actually helps them, too. That's fine, as long as they're playing two cards. Yeah, they'll be fine. I absolutely forgot about that. That actually makes a big difference. Yeah, this should be okay. Always clears, right? We always got the, we got the clean hit, too. Even better. All right um yeah good board advantage rewind if we need to can now dig out a uh a, a board clear with star power too which is kind of cool we we prefer to rewind light shows when we can but we also have the star power just off the uh the dude oh whoa one on two minions that's crazy okay volume up too hard to play right now uh i feel like i just want kind of a board turn here you don't want to play blinktron it's it's too early Turn's kind of wacky. 
This potentially burns. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it's only giving me one copy. No, we're good. Yeah, let's just empty the hand a little bit. We need to find some light shows soon to start winning this game one way or another. I mean, board clear is definitely a good way for us to win too, but our creepers, not too big. This feels like another good star power, honestly. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. Maybe we don't even need the star power. If I dump it right now, though, I can copy what? Eh, it'd be a volume up. I copy. That's still not very good. Light show. Audio splitter again. Oh, my God. Uh, currently, this copies the uh, the shadow of demise, which is really good. That's exactly what we want, to be honest. So I think we actually just clear the board here and just play stuff. Like, I don't even think we need to, to use the Shadow of Demise cards either right now. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, no, it does. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, I am an idiot. No, I'm an idiot. Just, I'm an idiot. Just kidding. <laughs> just, just kidding. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. I guess we're going to copy volume up. No, we're just going to snipe uh, Light Show. It's easy. Oh, there's the star power back. Okay. But now my, now my hand is going to be too full. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh no, what have I done, bro? Oh dude, what have I done, guys? No, what <laughs> what have I done, dude? <laughs> no. Just 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 ignore everything that's happened this turn. <laughs> just Whoa guys, whoa, that was weird. I had a strange disconnect. Man, look at all the cards I have now though. Isn't it really good to man, it's good to be good. We have so many cards. It's good that we're so far ahead despite that. Obviously, I needed to trade this in first for anybody who's wondering what went wrong there. While this was still the highest cost card to get an extra Shadow of Demise, clearly that was not the plan. Uh, I mean, again, we're still in a great spot. I think we're still very favored to win this game. It should all be good, but uh, not exactly how we planned it, to be honest. Not exactly how we planned it. Wow, Flash of Light on the 4 2. Okay. Opponent's deck does not seem particularly strong right now so far. This dies. They can uh, they can make me waste a card. Choose not to. Okay. No! No! <laughs> Why? You idiot! Why have you done this, Regis? No! No! Why? <laughs> No, I'm so sad, dude. I'm so sad. Um, this is a little bit too much. Do we just go for Blinktron here? The problem is I don't have a good board clear if I go for Blinktron. You idiot. Absolute. Absolute idiot. Oh, Cinderstorm's insane, yeah. Yeah, Shadow of Demise is good too, but we, we actually need the damage card now that we don't have. Uh... We just use it now. Yeah, we do. All right, uh, so this is now eight. Clearly we have a board. We can go Blinktron plus Cinderstorm for a billion damage. So I think we'll be fine. They're gonna need an absolute miracle. They used the wand of disintegration earlier. So <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Although that is pretty nuts, honestly. Uh, that is very big at this stage of the game. Star power will clear a board if I need to though for one turn. Do they have enough minions though to even really um, trade down this board because obviously that makes a difference too doesn't seem like it doesn't all right we'll uh we'll obviously have lethal here well uh, still fine man they can kill this i guess maybe they don't want to give me a card but it burns a card anyway so i don't know hey grixies dude thanks for the two years man that's really nice very cool I am actually a little too lazy to map this out, but I, surely it's lethal, right? Surely? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's exactly lethal again. But we had Cinderstorms that had an insane chance to connect as well, but... Uh, seemed like we had it organically, and we did. It's, it's, so see, guys, I just wanted to show, like, you know, even if you don't play a deck optimally, still a pretty good chance to win, you know? No big deal. Yeah, this is, uh, we're kind of hitting maybe a critical mass a little bit on card draw here. I'm worried with, with the volume ups, the bag of stuffings, all the card generation, this might be too much. We've had some pretty full hands. 
Maybe we take Vampiric Fangs in this case just to give me a little bit more reliable life gain. Like this is life gain, but this is big life gain and removal. Which we have we have the um the star powers for removal, but they don't always go exactly how we want. Arc Splitter Romath? That's pretty good, man. This isn't bad either though. Dang, dude. Vexilis. Dang, dude. And these bolts. It's a lot of damage. Uh oh shoot, I'm torn, dude. I mean, we just have not needed Romath yet, so I don't think we take this. I think it's this. I like the cheap cards. We can dump them more easily. Vexilus can be insane. I actually kind of forgot to add Vexilus. He might have been good in the deck. Although, again, apparently don't need him. Might have been too greedy. We haven't seen a light show in a while. We definitely didn't see a light show last game, I know. There was definitely not one drawn, and it definitely didn't, like, show up and then go away magically. I know that. It was definitely never there. No. We look for light shows always, don't we? Better cards too. Better cards and light shows always. Ah, better cards and light shows. What do you know, man? What do you know? So star power being more expensive right now does potentially limit the light show a little bit. Oh, goggles is scary, bro. Reverberations Vexilus, dude, for seven mana into a hero powered light show at ten is like. Does, I guess these don't actually stack though. No, never mind. It says twice. They don't stack. It's not an extra time, so they don't stack. Carving chisel early. Okay. They are going hard on board, man. Do I try to pull these totems back already? Like, do I need to just like? Oh, dang, dude! I wish. This is so nuts. I mean, I the, the star power is hopefully gonna clear the board, but this sinstone totem's honestly pretty big. Um. If I use the light show now, what ways do I have to get more light shows, right? I have only rewinds because you don't have Shadow of Demises anymore. I mean, obviously we can discover more as well. I I, I think I have to tempo this anyway. I, I think multiple star powers is okay. Like we don't need to copy the light shows to win necessarily. We might need to copy the star powers to win. I, I think just giving up a 3-2 right now would be too much. Even if he just stalls the board a little bit, gets some chip damage or whatever, it's it's gonna be worth it. And then I can reverberations it next turn if it doesn't die, which we think it'll die usually, but it's okay. Star power, like having two star powers is good. Just gives me the ability to play one on four without feeling bad. And then another one on five with spell damage. Just keep the board in check so we don't like die to a bloodlust early sort of thing is, is gonna be valuable, I think. So that way we can greed the light show for later as a kind of a higher value line. I don't I don't think we break dance this, do we? Just to clear one guy? This bounces back to hand, so it gets small again. I, I don't think so. Hopefully between this and, and star powers going off soon, we'll have enough. I, I, I think we've taken the right line here, honestly. Ooh. Those could be very disruptive to me killing them with combo stuff. Lampaw? Probably better off hitting this first, right? So that uh, this has a higher chance to hit the big, big guy when we need it to. It might have been a clear guaranteed anyway, I don't know. All right, yeah, that star power feels great. So, uh, dude, does Lay plus Vexilis plus Light Show work in a cool way? We don't have a mana for all that, of course, right now, but I'm like sort of intrigued. Oh, this does say cast it again, actually. So you could maybe do Lay plus Reverberations plus Light Show. That's kind of crazy. This is weird, but... Uh. Just keep the board in check a little bit, I think. <laughs> Just getting a... This is the only way for me to get a good body down, really. Kind of shows the hand on the Vexels a little, but I, I think the Lay is more interesting here at 8 mana, right? Isn't this nuts at 8 mana? Yeah, that's a guy we want to deal with, so... Oh, really? It's kind of a pain. It's cost two less, let's remember. Um, Clever Disguise, just to chain it, maybe. I don't really love Burden of Pride enough, I don't think. This might be better. I mean, we might Vampiric Fangs here just to get the board totally dealt with. Inner Fire? Devour Mind. Is it weird to Vampiric Fangs? You could just Vampiric Fangs the next target, obviously. It feels too early to star power. Maybe we just leave up the 0-3. Are we that stressed about a 0-3 right now, man? I don't think we are, are we? I think it's okay. Ooh. I see. This is better against whatever this buffs, presumably. <sighs> Note taker, by the way, actually insane. <laughs> like, can we talk about how insane this is? It's so good. We can just use the light show next turn now too, and then set up for the lay the turn after. 
So really good uh, Fireheart with, with the goggles to make that make that cheaper to kick off the turn. That's usually really strong. Uh, Devolving Missiles is fine. Yeah, we'll just go Note Taker, Hero Power, Light Show next turn. That's five. We could even play a Fangs or something if we need to. Maybe just like an Anchored Totem or some garbage to throw away. Light Show hits for three, so that's actually pretty good breakpoints as well. Um, although it's hitting for five, really, so maybe not that good. Uh... Yeah, I think we do fangs, right? Could you repeat that? Yeah, again, though, do we really need to? You know what I mean? Like, what's one totem doing? Just empty the hand. So next turn, I think it's Flame Paw, Reverberations, Light Show, right? Isn't that just completely insane? I don't know if it's, like, lethal. I could wait again in Hero Power. I don't know how the Hero Power works with it, though. How does the Hero Power work with it? Well, the hero power would still only affect the first one, so I don't think it adds that much damage. I think we do it, right? We just go. It isn't actually lethal yet, though. I guess. He only copies the first spell. Oh, right, so the reverberations won't... Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, oh, oh. He'll copy reverberations in which case... Well, wait, will the new ones, though? Oh, but it doesn't matter. It's not the first spell he sees. It's the first spell altogether. Yeah. Okay. In that case, we're actually better off going Vexilus into Romath then. Th this is just better then. I think. It's still not a lethal setup quite yet, though. Oh, it still hits for five on the second half. Oh, kind of, kind of surprised me a little bit, I guess, but I'll take it. So I have two light shows. I want to kind of do this on 10 realistically, I guess. We may we may use some star powers to clear. I don't know. We need a rewind is what we really want. Stone Rite's big. That would be our Vampiric Fangs target for sure. For sure. Oh! I guess we're not going to Romath next turn. Is this lethal? This is hitting for four, which is actually eight which is actually 10. This is just lethal, right? Surely. What have you gotten into Honestly, if it's not, I can just try again anyway. No, it's not lethal. Hold up. Wait, really? Do these not work together? Oh, I guess they don't work together. Shoot, I thought they would. Well, whatever. This still clears the board, right? Whatever. This should be totally fine. Your spells cast it again. Did it cast the overload? No, surely not. I only got one extra, right? Still checking that I only got one extra. It kind of doesn't matter, probably, but... Just making sure it's working the way I think it does. All right. Yeah, I didn't cast a framed, guys. That doesn't work that way. It doesn't, it, cast when drawn is not you casting. I think it just didn't work the way we, we thought it did or something. I don't know. Yeah, I know that Vexilus says the spell is cast twice, but Flamepaw does not say that. He says cast it again. So what I thought would happen is Vexilus would make it go off twice and then Flamepaw would make it go off a third time. I mean, is that what happened? I, I kind of lost track. The animations were weird. So I thought it would increment to a third time. So I thought we would deal six plus, or no, was it six? Yeah, six plus six plus six. I thought we were gonna deal 18. I, I think we only dealt 12 though, right? It's hard to keep track in your brain what, what we actually did do. It cast twice only, yeah. Did 12, that's what I thought. I mean, I don't know. I, I thought this would increment again because it does not say cast twice, it says cast again. So it didn't cast the framed again because we only got overloaded by two, not four. I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't care that much. We won. This is insane, right? Shadow demise we know is nuts. Noxious Infiltrator is actually complete and utter garbage. But these are even more garbage. These are pretty bad too, so we take it. I guess they they both they both they, you know maybe maybe flame paul kind of says oh it's it's already been cast an extra time and just kind of fizzles or whatever i'm not that worried about it maybe if we'd lost i'd be more worried about it right yeah guys again i, I i'm like 99 percent sure um i don't think over the overload thing the framed would ever count i almost never things that are like automatically played for you count in those sorts of effects cards like lay always look at the thing you manipulated from your hand into play I, I again I don't yeah I can't say 100% but 99% I would say I don't I don't think it looked at that I guess would be 90 man we just got like that whole bucket practically that's funny 
All right, we'll keep Shadow Demise. Henchman, of course, we want to get back later, not now. It's actually good to get Henchman in the mulligan, so you guarantee you get him later. Oh, this works okay. Volume up's nice. Volume up at three mana feels so freaking good. <laughs> like, it's already solid at four. At three, it's like, forget about it. That feels insane. Hey, Sandwich Lord, man, what's up? Regina's doing good. Hunter Mage Secrets. God knows this is, like, untenable, dude. Imagine in 10 years, this game's going to have a 1,000 secrets. Wild format secrets are just like, forget it. <laughs> they, they will finally actually be secrets after all this time. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Dude, they can ping this. That's actually gross. What the heck? This can deal eight damage to me right now. What the heck, dude? That is actually insane. Are you serious? Screw off, game. He's took like eight. <laughs> That's rude, man. Uh, do I have to play around a counterspell here? <laughs> I, I don't think so. If this is if this is counterspell, I'm gonna be real salty. There's just so many, it's so unlikely to be counterspell. Ring toss at two getting corrupted is really nice too, man. This is um this is powerful. I'll return the favor of these secrets, right? Orb of Revelation, by the way, um, I don't think it's too spooky, honestly. It should be okay. The, the floor on that makes it never that scary, I don't think. There's no, like, infinite chaining of crazy spells and stuff. So we're at eight cards in hand. Um, might have to coin into something to make this volume up feel good. Oh, no, actually, yeah, I have to coin into it first to get a good copy. Oh, no, we want it to finale, though. Yeah, maybe we just wait then. I really wanted to corrupt this ring toss ASAP. Star power doesn't feel right, though. Do I ever rip an arcane bolt face first and then volume up? Feels bad to lose my Shadow of Demise for only three damage. Maybe I'm overthinking it and we just like slam a henchman. Hmm. Coin a hero power? Ugh, well, it doesn't really do much. I mean, nah. I'm just gonna slam a henchman. I think we're getting too fancy. It's okay. We'll be all right. There's no real hurry yet. Coin is a lot better at two mana next turn because I can go vol I can go coin, volume up. Oh no, that still doesn't give me the finale. I mean, I don't necessarily need the finale. We'll talk about it. I don't know. Hero power volume up coin into like a rewind or something or a, a card that costs, you know, infinitize a good one cost card would be the sort of dream. If you want to try to get both the finale and and the copy and hand size because you got to manage hand size too. That's the only real problem right now that we're, we're running into because my hero power volume up. Well, let's just rip the coin here because, well, that still doesn't work. Why am I saying coin? No, that doesn't work either. Uh, dude, I don't know. This is, <laughs> this is not that hard. <laughs> let's just rip coin to test uh, counter spell now, maybe. Not a counter spell. Okay. I figured out the line, guys. <laughs> It's like really early for the Blinktron, but I have another one. I have nothing else interesting to do. We could maybe just like outfit Taylor in a, into ring toss just to corrupt this and get a body down. Okay, let's just do that. This is this is getting wacky, man. <laughs> this is getting stupid. Sticky seems good to get aboard, yeah. And um, yeah, Mirror Entity maybe. They do play small stuff it looks like, but these also aren't that good. All right. All this for nothing. All this work, dude. All this work, dude. <laughs> My God, this game's gone really funny. Just trying to get this volume up finale and keep the hand empty enough is really a lot more work than I expected. Tooth, that's fine. Give me that spider. Oh, cold case is good. Okay. Air guitarist Blinktron's fun, but not really very good. Uh, maybe just reverberations volume up here really right seems good to me Well, maybe we reverberate one of theirs, huh? It's about the same quality on average And then that makes theirs a little easier to die Oh flame ward, huh? Rewind Shadow of Demise star powers. Okay. Uh, rewinds are probably technically our best bet. Although Shadow of Demise is a little easier to work with because you don't have to spend the mana on it. Yeah, that's fine. So we're probably going to want to use the star power soon to tidy up this board. Because we have actually taken a surprising amount of little chip damage. We don't want this to get out of hand too soon. As soon as we get a light show now, we're just off to the races, man. Let's go. Let's murder. They don't have any idea what this face secret is. Well, it's not a face secret. You know what I mean. 
the secret on my face. They have no idea. <sighs> Next turn, Blinktron Air Guitarist. I wish I could give them the durability. <laughs> Like, can I choose? Choose one. Give your opponent one one weapon durability. I, I think we end up star powering next turn a vast majority of the time. Although they may not develop too much more board, so we may not have to. They have a lot of spells so far, it looks like. But as soon as we get a light show, man, we are off to the freaking races. Two, three shadows of demise in hand. That's crazy with light show. Actually insane. The opponent like DC? They've done absolutely nothing, man. I would hate to take a free win. I mean... Not really, but feel a little sad. Light show me, dude. Light show me, dude. Fiddle me, dude. Weird phrasing. Uh, it's like a waste, doesn't it? I mean, if the opponent's actually AFK. You, you just kind of blink trying to go face, right? But I don't know if they are. All right, I was kind of expecting these to attack me anyway, so like just take a turn where, where the same thing can happen, but now I have a Blinktron active. Yeah, seems like they're not here. Infinitize. I don't need to finale you, do I? Let's start here, though. Fireball? Soul fire is cool. This is five. Oh, dude, dude, this is like the old classic soul fire check, dude. Do you have it? We have a lot more chances though. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we kept every soul fire. Actually insane. That's funny. That's an old school soul fire check, but you, <laughs> you have like five soul fires instead of two. Uh, that's classic. Okay. Um yeah i think we take fangs again actually exerciser is kind of cool but we have a little bit of weapon crowding already not as worried about silences i think fangs is similar just removal type card but a little easier for us to flex and life gain can be valuable too in rage we have plenty of damage i think no we'll pass dude we've only gotten the one light show it's kind of crazy like light shows in our bucket so we could potentially have three or four natural light shows by now but we don't Maybe <laughs> just because you tell us how to eat soup again. No, I don't think so, man. I don't want to get banned from Twitch. <laughs> love, love, love eating soup. Uh, okay. Currently, Arcane Bolt is our playoff audio splitter. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Well, Mummy Magic might just swarm me out here, right? It might be too strong. Bottom Feeder. Do we coin a splitter, dude? Oh, no, this is zero, man. Well, I guess, I guess Shadow Sips kind of good on splitter too maybe kind of maybe zombies oh no oh no dude actually great tempo i'm kind of scared really really good tempo uh do we play a henchman for two no surely not fiddle fire shadow step could be a way to get a lot of resources for me as well maybe i do then i don't think i want to shadow step the fiddle fire that's not worth it it gets a lot better, but I also get a lot more plays to fill in later, too. It's only saving you two health. I guess we wait. Fiddle fire next turn. Find, like, a, you know, fire sale or something to clear the board. Oh, my God. Okay. I need a star power, dude. This this got gross. They are absolutely swarming. These free 1-1s, one if they get board buffed, they're going to be really hard to deal with. Star power! That's actually awesome. Uh, Fiddle Fire here puts me at, uh, nine cards. That should be okay. Elemental Evocation. Oh, this now only discards two. Do I still prefer Star Power, though? Do I actually have any Elementals? It's only this turn, so it doesn't matter. I do, though, right? Vexilis? Could be a cool combo setup. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, crap. I'm gonna have Graybow chains, dude. I gotta, like, go face this game. Where is that stupid weapon I didn't take? So this destroys all minions. They all die simultaneously. No, this death rattle goes off first. Oh, but this is not... Yeah, this is actually not a death rattle summon. This is a death rattle... Okay. So this is actually okay. I, I lose a Grey... Well, no, no. The other... No, no. I lose a Graybow cycle here, right? This just wipes a Graybow cycle. I think. If we get isolated down. Oh, God, that's like our two best cards. 
yeah that wiped the gray bow cycle so now if i clear these in the right order we'll be okay but i really needed that star power specifically is the hard part i really needed the star power without that it's gonna be really hard top hat prismatic uh shoot Fast in my radiance. <gasps> shadow madness oh whispers oh no whispers is only shadow madness dude i can take the mind eater but to what end right to what end could cost two mana oh prismatic is an elemental you're right and it actually matters i should have discounted it yeah you're right i should have discounted it um i think we're gonna we're gonna shadow step for now kind of trying to buy a turn here and then build a better turn next turn siphon soul Nervate as well. I could play these together. Kill that. You're gonna love the Killing this helps technically a little bit. But this new taunt. Oh, dude, I don't know, man. The Galloping Savior just put more damage out. My hope was to stay alive and build into a better play next turn, but the Savior just. Uh, Shoot, dude. I don't know. This is. I I, I think what we should have done is uh, elemental evocation, the prismatic, obviously, and then could have made that same play. Yeah. See, I'm worried about dying. This is this is my fear. We're just kind of dead. The gray bout's like we can deal with that later, but I gotta be alive. Vast wisdom. We can start here. This is. Oh. 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 Dang. Okay. So if I hit here. We can isolate the gray bow. He'll have seven, seven health. Okay. Maybe play a taunt and hope we're alive. <gasps> Odd attack? No. I might need this for later, but this is also, yeah, it's pretty bad. <sighs> it's like, do we trust this dude? Like any board clear just ends the game. It will be odd. Wait, no, this gets plus two, plus two of hat. It won't be odd. It'll be 10. Ten's not odd. This is really risky, man. Like, I, I, I think I have to play this because Vast Wisdom might leave me dead, right? Like, we can't necessarily trust the Vast Wisdom. This is actually alive on board, which is worth something. We might still be dead, but Vast Wisdom, like, we're dead a lot of the time. And now oh, they got a board clear with Lunar. Shoot. Solar Lunar. Perfect top deck, my god. This keeps you alive on board, so I think this is okay. The horse was odd? I know the horse was odd, but I... I, I cleared the horse. The horse isn't the problem. Are you saying it's cheaper than playing this guy? But I want to get the poisonous down to clear stuff next turn, right? Like I'm developing a dude, which I'm saying is worth more than a vast this turn. Because he's still vast next turn with way more mana to work with, right? Uh, this is good. Yeah, potion belt's insane for us, actually. Really nice. This is really, really strong. I wish we got more potion belts, actually. Horse, then poison? Well, I don't think we have mana for all that, right? If we, that's, that's too much mana, right? To kill the horse, then poison, you mean? Maybe not. I don't know, actually, now that you say that. Uh, I guess I was operating under the assumption that I didn't have enough mana, but maybe that's not true. What did we start at? No, we only had six. No, we only had six. Yeah, we didn't have enough. Three and four is seven. We weren't on seven, they're on seven. Yeah, that was too much mana. Okay, Arcane Bolt early, I don't think is worth it. Rewind early, I do think is worth it. That could actually be pretty good. <laughs> If you killed Greybound and went to the three attack 50-50, you could have Shadow Madness the Greybound. That's an interesting idea. If we think we're behind enough, we could play for the cool out there. I don't think that's crazy. That's a play you would make when you think you're behind, but that's sometimes totally fine to do. Uh, Secret Room deck, we don't have any. Brain Freeze seems the most useful here. This is a bigger deck, so freezing stuff seems good. Bone Spike is kind of cool. Plague of Madness... Poisonous against big stuff's fun, but I don't actually want to take a bunch of damage. I think we'll take the bone spike. Ooh, it's okay. It's kind of an innervate now. Yeah, instrument tech's good. Hit keyboard. Romath's not probably great. Zombies again, dude. We keep giving people these free one ones, man. Why is that so common? It's kind of annoying. I don't like. I mean, this deck's probably not going to benefit from them as much because we don't expect them to be as smorky, but uh, still a little annoying, I think. <gasps> Light show, let's freaking go. 
Okay. Light show, I mean, honestly, it is a little bad with, uh, like, these 1-1s one -ones on board again. Like, we're going to send 5 damage and roll 1-1 one -one a lot of the time. I could bone spike first, but I don't think it's worth it. I guess we could also just, like, star power first. <laughs> this feels really bad. Is this ever correct? I like that it makes a 4-4. Four -four. I don't think if it, if it didn't make a 4-4, four -four, I don't think this would ever be correct. But honestly, I think it's actually okay. We want to save the light show. We can get more of these later if we need to, right? It's not the end of the world. Um, I'm hoping I can stall enough into Romath later. This is a weird play, but I, I actually think it's correct. The 4-4 four four is good, man. If it just if it just did nothing and summon a 4-4, four four, it might be worth it anyway. And then creating space for the light show to either hit a better target or to hit face, I, I think has a lot of value as well. So, I'm cool with this line. If you ain't cool with this line, that's your problem. Um... All right. All right, that's good. Yeah, I think we just go for board here, right? Yeah, that's actually totally fine, yeah. Better than hitting the 5-5. Five five. I don't know if that's better to not proc at all or proc now, but arguably you might say you're never gonna proc it, but I think we will. I want to hit with this 5-5 five five next turn. So we really, want, we really want Romat to get a lot of good targets, right? That's gonna be a goal. Opponent is healing for a billion already, unfortunately. This is never really going to infuse, is it? I need to be mindful of the reverberations guaranteeing, uh, of course, more break dances. Like we could just go now, it's it's not bad. Um, it's a little weird math right now though. How many spells have I played? I've played, did I say break dance? I mean light show. I've played light show and vast wisdom and uh, star power. So I need to be, I need to kind of play this before playing like one of these fire spells, for instance. Ooh, Ignite's kind of cool. Ignite for five though. Again, the math is just so clunky. I don't use that yet, right? I don't know. I don't hate this turn, but I don't love it. You know, we're not like really that strong. Roll math is not that good yet with the light shows. We need way more than just this. Like we're going to have some other stuff too, brain freezes. And as you saw the, the other dude, but I, I don't think we're going to have that much. I need to create some wind conditions soon. Need like, I don't know. Oh my God, dude. I need actually need vampiric fangs right now. Good Lord. I guess I can just do this too though kind of nuts <laughs> it's actually sort of insane isn't it <laughs> do i just kill my own audio splitter here so that i know it guarantees the right target and doesn't get silenced or anything because like extra light shows here are just so busted you know what i mean like it's also quite enticing to kill that four six of course maybe we just trust this will this will stick this is just a little too clean to pass up i'd say it's still seven damage to face so you expect this to connect, right? Could have reverberations to my own uh, audio splitter as well, but I, I think killing an 812 like that's just too juicy. <laughs> like that's too too clean, you know? You, you can't pass that up, can you? And then if, if they don't kill this, usually I can play whatever spell I need to and then like trade it in or whatever and still have a good play. So should be okay if I draw like a star power or something. Another Lorthamar, holy crap, dude. They are actually so <laughs> gross. Uh, these are gonna be hitting for five, so this is actually a pretty good, pretty good target here. Is this ever lethal? I don't think so, but uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. With, with minions on board, I think it actually is better to, to do it that order. By the way, dude, this is a lot of damage. Next turn is probably gonna be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, I even have so much more in hand as well. Wait, did I do that wrong? I thought that was infused already. Oh no, that's not the that's not frozen touch. I thought it was frozen touch for a second. But either way, <laughs> dude, the 812 play owned. This living and getting hit for eight is so gross. That is actually nuts. Yeah, looming presence is great. These other ones suck. Uh no. 
Ooh, audio splitter is good. Vast wisdom on one I do actually like pretty well. Yeah, I don't think we need to print this, but I like these two a lot. Rewind as well. Woo, if we could hit two freaking one time. Give me that freaking light show, dude. Give me that freaking light show, dude. Splitter it might be hard to hit the light show though if we take the light show because it would often be the most expensive spell off the vast and then it would get cheaper off vast wisdom. It might be hard to make it cost three exactly, you know, to keep it a high cost so that Splitter copies it, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, star power's been really good too. Yeah, you're right. Star power has actually been very strong. Oh, they have weapons. Blinktron. Disruption. Coerce it too. Oh, head crack. That keeps comboing back, but you kind of expect this deck to have a billion armor. Are we going to win by whittling them down with head cracks? You know what I mean? Although, Romath will go off a million times with head crack, and each one deals five if I want it to. Actually, I think it is head crack, dude. That's kind of wild. That's actually kind of wild. Sinister Strike, maybe? That's good damage, too. I don't know, dude. That, that's kind of crazy, right? And then I could rewind it as well and get double head cracks every turn. Oh my god, if the game lasts long enough, forget it, dude. Forget it. I wish this was Marvel Snap where they retained their cost as well. How insane would that be? Um, We can still coin here, right? It'll be coin, volume, uh, it'll be coin, vast wisdom, and head crack in the pool, right? Yeah, that's fine. I want to get these moving sooner rather than later, I think. Although, I don't know, man. Do I really need to? What's the hurry? No, there's no hurry. Screw that. No hurry. Every time I want to hurry in this deck and then I decide, no, no hurry. It's better if they have armor anyway, so... Is there trouble? We can wait. Oh, I totally forgot to even look at their treasures, dude. I'm going to be straight with you. I didn't even think about it. Dude, hitting this for 10. I love it. That's actually awesome. That's funny. That's really funny. Do I coin any spell damage here? Nah, again, coin's really valuable. Let's wait. Okay. So rewind into head crack next turn, I think is, I, I don't know, man. We gotta, we still gotta manage the board a little bit. Like we don't wanna just abandon the board here, but I'm kind of waiting on like a good star power or something to deal with the board. In the meantime, I'm just gonna start weaving these head cracks together and hope that we're not dead. They haven't gotten any armor yet for their, uh, for their dude, which is crazy. Hey, Inky Squidoo, dude, thanks for the three gifted subs. Holy crap, man, that's awesome. It's very chill of you, sir. Oh, this is gonna make me burn a card unless I uh, arcane bolt. So I think we will arcane bolt. I think that's fine. Cause we're getting the head crack back, you know? Um, okay. Might be better off to attack with this because of uh, Ranker? Yeah, maybe we should have. Uh, that's awesome, Inky, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate the kindness, dude. Future Forgotten with the 10 months up too. You guys are amazing right now. Thank you. But still love a star power, I think, to just kind of reset this little board they've assembled. I don't want to take a bunch of, of garbage chip damage, right? We need to be a bit mindful of little chip damage like this. Ah, star power. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. I sort of hate that I don't have any good plays with this. I guess we could go audio splitter or maybe loyal henchman's fine too. He's pretty big. Splitter hits uh, sinister strike, which isn't bad. But a three mana Sinister Strike is definitely not the card I'm most excited to play. If I could find a turn to dump the Sinister Strike and then copy more head cracks, I think that would be the, the ideal scenario. Does anyone know, can anyone count the number of head cracks we've played? It's only been like two or three so far. It's really not that many. And one of them was like the regular one. Or no, I guess we generated that too. So all of them are in the Romath. It's not a, not a Romath consideration, I guess. Somewhere between one and 300. Okay, that's a helpful, good helpful metric there. Thank you. Very useful. <laughs> what would I do without your math? <laughs> I really don't want to be taking damage from like four sixes and stuff, right? It's it's uh, it's actually it's actually a meaningful distinction. Uh, okay, let's just use this to combo. Spell damage is worse than, or excuse me, hero power is worse than just playing two of these, right? It only adds two damage, but I lose a uh, cycle. Okay. So now I have three head cracks. Actually, yeah, three head cracks. 
<laughs> Blinktron into Headcracks is also something I want to think about very soon. Like I could maybe even go Blinktron next turn and then Headcrack. Set up for like a, probably wouldn't be a lethal push yet or anything, but you know. Ooh. Oh, order. I love their order. Thank you. That's really nice for me. You kind of got to kill this too, right? It's actually important to kill this. Uh, don't draw bomb. Oh! oh! So maybe I should play Blinktron now on um, eight so that it's alive into turn nine on the Romath, right? Does make this play a little worse though. Rerouting sound. I don't have an easy combo activator. Maybe we don't need it to be. Maybe we still want to play Blinktron here for next turn with multiple head cracks. I guess I can lose one head crack here and not feel too bad about it if I want to cycle head cracks. Uh, I don't know about this. Oh, I didn't realize the Sinister Strike goes back to zero. That kind of makes sense. Of course, it's a fresh copy. Oh, I should have used this one. What am I doing? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to go Blinktron this turn into double head crack. Hopefully I'm not dead. Right? That's going to be the fear. And then hopefully you hope you hope Romath wins, but I'm potentially taking like, oh, shoot. Yeah, see, this is too much. Uh, I'm going to die. I like that they're pushing face. I think that's really smart. Creating a face check on me here. I kind of need star power. Shoot. Oh, a bomb too. Oh, that's not good. I need vampiric fangs off this presence, maybe, man. I don't have any lethals, right? At 23, it's like five. The plan is if we weren't dead to play Blingtron double head crack into a Romath, but we're gonna die if we do that. <sighs> Let's see, man. We can maybe heal eight here. Oh my God, dude. That is so frustrating. Lay into looming presence heals eight, but I, I need vampiric fangs, really. I don't think we're alive without vampiric fangs or maybe a star power Dude Dude Every bomb Bask in my radiance. Sound. Stupid freaking God doesn't matter we're dead on board oh no we're actually not dead on board i could have traded we would have been alive at one technically oh my god dude i'm so frustrated we took how much damage from bombs that turn like yeah there's six in the deck but i have 30 cards imagine if i had an extra 10 or 12 health right now oh yeah we were dead anyway okay that's a relief at least <sighs> really frustrating dude I healed eight and I took like 15 off of it. So stupid. Yeah, we don't need those. Freaking love bombs, dude. Yeah, I'm very glad we were dead anyway. Nice of the opponent to let us know. I mean, very likely they have a nightmare at that stage of the game, but which they might've had three or four, honestly. We may have had to have cleared the board. I needed, star, like I said, I think I needed like star power or vampiric fangs or at the very least to not take like 15 damage off bombs. How's the baby, dude? Good. How's everyone asking you about the baby? Oh, it's good too, man. I don't, that's not something that's going to frustrate me. I get frustrated when somebody's like, is this card good? Is this card good? And it came out like three minutes ago. Is this card good? That's frustrating. But uh, asking about my wonderful baby is not frustrating. She's so cute. Talk about her all day. I find you guys a cute, funny picture. Here she was asleep last night. Sleeping. What, what happened? Sleeping baby. Sleeps like her mom with her mouth open. Sometimes, not always. This is her sleeping as well. She sleeps a lot, so a lot of photos are her sleeping. <laughs> there she is sleeping again. <laughs> Funny pose. <laughs> Cute baby photos. Yeah, I got these, uh, this family of baby birds built a nest on our front door. It's the second time this has happened. They're, this is like a baby bird that's all grown up, though. He's like grown up. He's the last one to leave the nest, I think. Um, so we have multiple babies in the house right now. Uh, Romath is too greedy, right? We need faster plays. Do we like volume up on three? Sometimes we do. We don't have coins, so hand size is less of a problem this game, probably. Do, 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 do. Is your baby a good card? Yes. Yes, she is. Do we dump this just for hand size considerations later? Like on two, we're gonna have six cards on a three. Well, we're gonna play a card on two. Although this does generate a card back, so I, I don't know. Might actually be correct to play the air guitarist here. Trying to push extra value out of it. 
might just be too greedy. Not that I care about it as a 1-1 on board very much in this deck. It can occasionally hit those 2-1 egg spider things that come out, but most of the time does not kill the things we care about. Magisters? No, no good plays. I actually do think star powers are really valuable in this matchup, so... A lot of boards to deal with with all the 3-3s three and stuff. So I think uh, audio splitter here is not too early at all. Whoa! Symphony of Sins this early is insane, dude. That is a great <laughs> card to get to buffing this early. Holy crap. That is so cool, man. I'm not even mad. That's just awesome. Can we get a uh, Vampiric Fangs? Oh, Reverberations is also good. Can help us deal with that really nicely. Mm, Shadow of Demise is probably our best target. Technically speaking, um, we might need that armor gain off Looming Presence, but oh, hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, Shadow of Demise can be a Looming Presence anyway. Maybe a little less reliably, but often anyway. If this minion stakes, we can clear the 7-9, which is the goal. Um, could also... Oh my god, bro. Hmm. <sighs> I can I can do multiples of these, but I can't actually like I can't ping this. You know what I mean? You've been in tighter scrapes, I don't have any way to ping it. Like I can make a copy and get a nine nine, but the, I can't kill it. Pray for star power. Oh, it's so unlikely to be good enough though. I mean, we can bias it a little. Maybe I just have the star power two turns in a row. Oh my god. If it kills one big one, actually, is it guaranteed to kill one? Oh, the worst hit. Okay, it killed one big one. That's actually good enough, I think. Yeah, that's actually fine. Okay, we live with that. We live with that. That could have been so much worse. The turn three symphony is is a nightmare that we've maybe, maybe stabilized against here at least a little bit. I guess maybe it was guaranteed to kill one of the big ones even though we got the worst hit. I think we could have maybe fully cleared if it hit right. I don't know, maybe not. Six and then five and then four and then three and then two. Yeah, we could have. We could have fully cleared. Wow. Six on one of the nines. Five and four on the other nine, three on a nine, and then two on the two. Yeah, and then a one left over. Actually, bonus damage. Okay, star power number two will deal with this actually very reasonably. Uh, if they kill this card, which they won't want to do yet. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Let's just use this. I don't think this can go wrong, can it? But I can spell damage anyway, just to be safe. No reason to dump a break dance. Okay. Woo! All right, we're at 19. That was the scary thing. Like, we're not out of the woods, you know? Like, we're still still fighting a little bit here. Because, uh, you know, although this deck is very board-based, clearly Symphony of Sins has direct damage. They could have, like, you know, that, that cold thingy that does damage. There's a lot of ways for me to die here still. I would like to start killing them soon if I could. That's another uh, Shadow of Demise, actually. Which, if we had, like, a freaking... Uh, Light show would be GG probably, but we don't. We don't have light shows. Oh yeah, see, there's the deal six already. A lot of damage incoming. So I, thank God that wasn't a light show. I was gonna be very sad. <laughs> I was gonna be quite upset. Um, I'd like to get away with looming presence times two here if I can. Are we at all worried about leaving that four four on board? This is not an arcane spell for a princess or anything. I guess we could also break dance, but this resets its stats, which isn't really ideal. Yeah, another star power is good because we were actually kind of giving ours up. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I just don't love the break dance here. It's not terrible by any means. It does burn a card too, though. Uh, I just don't think that's good enough. I'm gonna trust that having these next turn is enough. This is a little bit greedy, but I'm hoping 17 is sufficient. Like the heal four was, you know, changing up a break point. We got a taunt. They don't have endless cards in hand, so I'm, I'm hopeful. My thought is like right now, I don't have a Vampiric Fangs. So these Looming Presences are my only way to gain life. So I don't really want to lose them until I have to. You know what I mean? Like I want to I want to maybe preserve that life gain as, as, as needed. I also need maybe an answer to a Killmonger, Killmox later. Oh, I only have three cards, he says. <sighs> Dude, th this early symphony is brutal. This is like, how many Emerald Goggle games have we had today? Three? Pretty tough. Now we do have Cadgar, so we can't complain too much, but Goggles is, is rare now, right? Did I say Killmonger, you know what I mean. Uh, hair, hair in my freaking mouth somehow. Yeah, 
This unfortunately was a really good board clear. Very sad about that. Uh, also just really good at shutting down star power with all these bodies. Um, I can't even star power times two. I could reverberations that so that we're like a little more likely to kill it off the star power to reduce damage output so that if any target, actually is it guaranteed even? Yeah, probably technically guaranteed. <sighs> I mean, it's pretty likely to die anyway, but I get a body at least. Oh, these turns feel so bad, man. Because I also want a looming presence for life, but if I do it first, I burn a card. I guess I can do guitarist first and then looming presence. See what we find. Yeah, Vexilis and Rhythm Dancer Risa. What absolute just garbage cards, man. We are talking about the biggest garbage I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. Let's just high roll this. I'm over it. Nice. That was, the, that was a good roll. Actually a great roll. Okay, I'm not gonna... I don't know. Maybe maybe I should have break dance. It feels so bad though to use a, use a dude on a break dance. So we healed four more, which I still don't feel great about, but it's okay. Why is this card in my deck, dude? This is so bad. Like, why can't this be ever a vampiric fangs? Why can't this be... I'm worried about the deal, deal six to everybody card because we're getting so low. And they have so- oh my god, bro, a second symphony? No! <laughs> this is how it ends. Deal six to the hero again. Oh, we're gonna die so soon. Can I kill them? No, they've just healed a billion on top of everything else, man. We're at six, so we're actually dead to that deal six card this turn. Really, man? And look at my garbage hand. I tell you what, this can actually hit the card draw dude again. Okay. Woo! Music to my ears. Rewind again on this guy. The problem is I'm just burning so many cards every time I do this. I'm ready to be just like you. Um, okay. Like, can I really stay alive like this? We're <laughs> just barely hanging on, man. Endless looming presences. I, I'm burning a card too, so this kind of steals my light show outs. I mean, I can get light shows off infinitize eventually, but my hand is just getting full of this garbage, you know? So many just bad cards. So much clunky stuff. <sighs> um, all right. I don't have anything good to dump anymore either is the problem. These one ones I was rewinding and dumping. That was pretty cool. Not that I even care about the tutus. Oh my god, <laughs> third symphony! This guy is a god! I think I would have attacked face with my one ones first in case I got the deal six to all, right? Because he might accidentally uh, lose two damage here. Draw your highest cost reduced by six. God knows what that is. God knows. Yeah, see, oh, 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 they got it off. They had it in hand anyway. Okay, so that changes that a little bit if you know you're going to get the one on hand. But it might have been a mislethal potentially, I guess, right? mirror image dude i mean i like that it's zero honestly i could just i could just play it maybe i think i'm just dead though right like it's just not enough trying to find like a miracle evasion could technically be good frost nova is kind of cool too prep is kind of cool too i don't know i mean technically frost nova keeps me in the game right so Cone of cold, or do I go for some kind of discover out here? I have this anyway, so let's try to discover something. Um, God, dude. Lay flame paw. And look how garbage this turn is. <laughs> I did basically nothing. Uh, I did like a million things and did nothing, basically. Those discoveries were just garbage. It's just pure desperation. Trying to find like a light show or something to create a win condition. But I think we're just dead to so many cards out of the symphonies. So many like deal six to alls. So many treasures kill us here. It's going to be really tough to pull this back. Okay. Oh yeah, that's game. Yeah. Man, it's funny. <laughs> Get wrecked arcade giant get wrecked yeah the turn three symphony was just too much i feel like I and mean, we just drew really bad in the mid game too I mean, imagine if you get rid of that risa and like what the noxious infiltrator and an outfit tailor imagine if that hand instead is a light show 
and a Romath and a, you know, I don't know, something good. Whatever the case. I don't really, I don't really know we had a lot of opportunity with the hand we drew. Good run, though. Really fun run, man. Yeah, three symphonies to one light show. That does tell you a lot, doesn't it? That does tell you a lot. Tough, tough craft to only get one natural light show. Still, though, eight wins is good. It was a perfect treasure assortment, so that was nice. Those were the, I, I think if we, if we handpick treasures, those are probably the two we take, right? So that we can't complain too much. In the scheme of things, that was a good, good little run for us. Uh, Ronma, dude, thanks to 100 bits, dude. Maybe the bucket gods will favor you with more than one light show. Yeah, that would be a fun one to reroll, but the odds of getting those same treasures again seem so unlikely. But star power was clutch. Reverberations actually seemed pretty good too. Um, it was a good run. I was pleasantly surprised for sure.